And now, tonight, the FBI is asking for everyone watching this program to help solve a mystery. Reopened today after nearly 50 years, a newborn was kidnapped from his mother in a Chicago hospital, later returned, or so the world believed. But now, after months of investigation by ABC News and 2020's Barbara Walters, well, you hear exclusively from that little boy all grown up, and he is a man who has learned a stunning secret about his life. Looking at old family photographs with Paul Fernzak is a strange experience because the baby in his baby pictures is not him. How do you feel when you see this picture? I feel like I want to find him and hug him and make sure he's okay. Paul Fronzak recently discovered his entire life, his name, his parents, his birthday, all of it is a big mystery. A mystery that began with a kidnapping 49 years ago in 1964, just a day after Paul Franzak was born, the first child of Chester and Dora Franzak. But baby Paul was snatched from his mother's arms right in the maternity ward of a Chicago hospital. The baby was kidnapped. Baby was gone. I don't think you're that desperate to go and take another woman's baby. Dora Franzak's public appeal to the kidnapper went unheeded. Do you have any suspects here in Chicago that you're going to question? We are uh, questioning suspects uh, throughout the day. A massive dragnet came up empty. Just over a year later, a child somewhat matching Paul's description was found in New Jersey. The Franzaks claimed him as their own and took him home to Chicago. Now an adult, Paul works for a college in Nevada. He's married and has a child of his own. A normal life, until a year ago when a DNA test showed he is not the Franzak's child after all. What are you trying to accomplish? My main goal for this whole project is to find the real Paul. My parents raised me and they did a great job. And I feel that if I don't do everything I can to help find the real child, then I'm not doing my job as a son. This is an incredible mystery. Barbara Walters is here. So now that the FBI has reopened the case, does he really think it could happen? He'll find out. Well, Diane, let's say he is cautiously optimistic. He hopes that he may have better luck with help from the general public than he might get from officials. So 2020 is putting the full resources of the ABC News investigative team into the effort to help him solve the two greatest mysteries of his life, who he is, and whatever happened to the real Paul Franzak. And we're also asking our viewers for their help. So if you know anything about this case, let us hear from you. There are answers out there somewhere. Thank you so much, Barbara. If you have any tips, again, please go to our website, abcnews.com slash 2020.